Tau Overflows Vivekanand and Parliament of Religions During from 1888 to 1895 Vivekanand wandered the length and breadth of the country. There was there is a unique event of the men, the mystical meeting between Vivekananda and Paramahansa Yogananda. Yogananda was born in January of 1893. That time Vivekananda was wandering the length and breadth of the country. And 11th of September 1893 was the Parliament of Religions when he delivered the historic talk. There is a person in California, Mr. Richardson. He was five years old when his brother pushed him into a pool 15 feet deep. He was drowning. Same time he saw light flashed in the sky and there appeared an image. With that, a person who was the friend of his brother, he leaned a tree from the side of the pool and somehow or the other Richardson came out of that pool. Another incident like that happened. In May of 1893, Vivekananda reached New York in preparation for the Parliament of Religions. It was summer. Slowly and slowly the winter was approaching. Whatever money he had, had already finished. Money had already finished. He got a few winter clothes made for him. And one night, couple nights he spent in the standpipe. So one morning, winter morning, a man came and seeing the monk attractive, a strong built, a resonant voice. Swamiji, are you not feeling cold when everything is freezing? Vivekananda responded, why is your nose not freezing? The man is startled with that response, he said my nose is accustomed to it. A stern Vivekananda responded, then my whole body is then my whole body is accustomed to it this was the person henry wright he saw a tremendous intelligence in vivekananda and he came to know that he is a participant in the Parliament of Religions. The time for registration has passed. So William Wright wrote a recommendation for him to get registered for the Parliament of Religions. And, and he gave him the address where he will stay in Chicago. On reaching Chicago, Vivekanand realized he lost that slip. But destiny, when it wants to do the work, it creates, it's like a zigsaw puzzle, puts everything in the right place. And he stayed at William James of Harvard University, University's place. That became his permanent residence in Chicago. By that time, Richardson was 17 years of age. He visited Chicago 
during the time when the Parliament of Religions was taking place along with his mother. Vivekanand was strolling outside the hall where the conference, the Parliament was to take place. Richardson shouted, Mother, he is the person that I saw in the vision. And by the time he uttered these words to his mother, Vivekanand had walked in into the Parliament Hall. Hurriedly, Richardson rushed inside. He saw a magnanimous person. He recognized he was that image that appeared when the light flashed in the sky. He requested him at seeing him, Vivekanand said, you should keep away from the water. Keep away from the water. Richardson expressed his desire to be the disciple of Vivekanand. Reading that thought, Vivekanand said, no, I am not your master. Your master will come later and he will shower much blessings on you and he will give you a silver cup. The event finished. It was 1925 December. Yoganand Paramans, Paramans Yoganand was planning his visit to United States. So he thought of buying because it was Christmas time and during that time a huge gala party used to take place at the commune play center. So Yoganand was wandering, walking through the market in Calcutta, there he saw a tall silver cup. He said, this cup Mr. Richardson will certainly like, then he bought that. December 1925. Before that, the, during the Christmas party, the gifts were handed over to everyone. Richardson was handed over the gift that was wrapped in a box. He opened the box. As he opened, he was startled. Words choked. He went and sat down in a corner. He looked at the gift again and again. Then he came to Yoganand and he said, I have been waiting for this cup for 43 years. 43 years. Then he narrated the incident that the what Vivekanand had told him that your master will shower blessings to you and he will give you a silver cup. Existence works in a mysterious way that we cannot understand in any way. A similar incident happened with me in August or September of 1977, a name flashed in my memory that this person will come to you and the person will be of tremendous intelligence and this person was born in January of the same year. Time went on. I came and settled in Trinidad. My work in the Western Peninsula started 45 years after. 45 years after. One morning as I was going to my store, I get a message in the form of a letter from that person. And then there was a short talk and I recognized this is the person who I envisioned 45 years ago. And no sooner that the person came in contact, I had given the person the name that I had that has flashed on my inner sky 
in August or September of 1977. Now, coming back to Vivekananda, Vivekananda, everyone was mocking, he was 30 years of age, as if he was carrying the entire, the Sanatans, literature and Sanskriti, the culture on his shoulders when time came for him to speak gently with the calculated steps he walked towards the podium and when he reached the microphone he remained quiet for a few moments as if trying to be in communion with that source of light that has kindled up in his heart and remember that he looked at the audience and then he spoke five words that and then 7500 spectators or the attendance stood up on their feet and the hall continued to echo for more than two minutes my sisters and brothers of America, everyone will come and speak in a particular way. My brothers, my sisters and brothers of America. Thus he began his talk. During this talk, he spoke the in detail, this, the Indian, the Sanatan culture, and he spoke of the two sutras of Shiv Mahimistrotram as different streams having their source in different places all mingle their water in the sea so so O Lord the different paths which men take through their different tendencies various though they appear crooked or straight all lead to thee whosoever comes to me i teach him all men are struggling through their paths in the end lead to me this was a memorable talk. After that, one, he had a series of talks and it was newspaper headings, Vivekananda is an orator by divine rights. Vivekananda is the orator by divine rights. Then he had a number of talks at different universities and different places where he was invited while in United States, Europe and United Kingdom. One day he was coming out of the talk at the university. He saw a few girls standing a little far and one of them was looking at him. Without any hesitation, after he finished talking to those people who he was talking to, he approached the person and he said, you had been looking at me, what it is. One of them said, I wish that I could have a son like you. Vivekananda immediately said, you can take me as your son. You can take me as your son. These words strike so deep into that person and that person became the ardent disciple and the foremost disciple of Vivekananda. Enough for today.